Welcome everybody to the Houston Oilers franchise. Last episode, we got our first win of the series, defeating the Steelers 20 to 10 in a game where our defense surprised the series so far and really showed up. Throughout these first three games, we have been expanding the playbook for DTR. One thing that we need to establish, though, is a go-to weapon for him. We have not done that yet. So we have been training the last few weeks with Marvin Mims Jr. and DTR in training. We've been using the option attack for DTR mostly, but I found, found that the pass skeleton, as you see right here, has been actually pretty easy. As long as you just get your passes completed in a row, you don't have to really worry about scoring every play. Just worry about getting completions in a row. It will be a pretty easy gold. But these two have been the focus players in training as we only have two slots this early in this series. And right away, Marvin Mims Jr. gets an upgrade. Now, one thing I want to emphasize with him is I want him to be an all-around receiving threat, a deep threat, a short threat. And here in this upgrade, he gets a plus one awareness, deep route, release, and speed. And his dev trait is revealed. He is a star dev player player excellent start here to his development so he goes up to 93 speed that is going to make a difference you can see the route running is there right now and he is just going to get better from here he's going to continue to be our upgrade player or our focus player i should say throughout training for at least the next couple of weeks Case Keenum has an upgrade here. He is the backup quarterback, obviously, and has helped DTR's growth as the mentor here. And one of DT DTR's motivations actually is to have a mentor in the room. So we are one and two, and we will face the two and one Chargers, missing Tyree Wilson for one more week, and he will return next episode. But looking at the Chargers, they don't have any injuries really except their left guard. So they will be at full strength, obviously led by Justin Herbert with all of these weapons at his disposal now. Austin Eckler, we already know he is a monster at scoring touchdowns, catching passes out of the backfield. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Joshua Palmer, and Quinton Johnston. I mean, they have so many guys on offense. And defense, they have Joey Bosa, who obviously was injured last year. He's looking for a big bounce back year. A lot of people still believe he is one of the top uh, defensive linemen or pass rushers in the game. We'll see if he can get back to form. Now, going into this game, though, the Chargers defense is really great in one area, getting sacks. But average rushing yards, they are 25th. And what is our strong suit? We have the league's leading rusher right now with Antonio Gibson, so you know we're going to be looking to pound the ball. So look out for the running attack today as we are on the road here at SoFi Stadium in L.A. versus the Chargers. This is our second divisional game here of the series. We faced the Broncos in week one and now the Chargers. Let's get this one underway as LaVisca Chenault will be back to receive the opening kickoff. Speaking of LaVisca Chenault, he will get the start at receiver today. I have been very, very disappointed with what I've seen from Sky Moore, and now it's time for LaVisca Chenault to get his opportunity. He is more of a returner right now, but I want to see what he can do as a route runner and a playmaker. I'm going to try to get him the ball in his hands today. So here we go. DTR starts out in the shotgun for the second straight game. He hands off to Antonio Gibson. A big hole. It's there for a gain of 15. We knew this was the weakness. We attack it right away. It's a first down run. Gibson next carry. A nice big hole again. He fights forward. It's a gain of eight. And now we get it to a early third and two at the 48-yard line. Pistol formation. Two tight ends out there. Isaiah Likely and Robert Tanyan. Another first down, three carries for three, almost first downs through his first three attempts here for Antonio Gibson. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That is caught, and that is uh, Thaddeus Moss, actually. So he gets an opportunity to get in the game. Handoff once again, Gibson, another first down, and you just see the holes are opening up. Our offensive line has been excellent at blocking for the run so far to start this season. Now in the red zone. Here's a throw across the middle. That's LaVisca Chenault. He gets all the way to the three. That's the separation I've been looking for from Sky Moore. And LaVisca Chenault already has a big catch to get us within the five. 
here on the first drive. DTR stands in the pocket, a perfect throw, and he beats the man coverage. And now we're inside the five. As now here's Antonio Gibson, handoff, he gets in. What an opening drive here for the Oilers offense. We make it look easy. And it is seven to nothing as here comes Justin Herbert. All these stars on offense, can we make some stops today? Here's Eckler with the handoff. Gain of eight. Jalen Smith has been playing really, really well. We'll see if he continues his hot streak today as that one's a throw to the right side. And how about Bryce Hall? Two interceptions so far this season. Play action fake now. Third and two and open Joshua Palmer across the middle. That is a first down. Actually, that's uh, Gerald Everett at tight end who gets it for a gain of 20. Everett lined up in the slot here with Mike Williams as here's Herbert throwing to the sideline. It's going to be caught, and that is... The man that's been there forever, it seems like, Keenan Allen. Third and one now at the 34. Herbert changing up the play here. He uh, changes, uh, I guess, protection. And that's a quick throw to left side. And that's Keenan Allen. He's down the sideline. Touchdown. Keenan Allen, the veteran. He picks up about a gain of 50 almost. And the Chargers strike back right away. Well, if we're going to have to compete with this team, it looks like it might be a little bit of a shootout here. Here's the Vizca Chanel running a jet sweep. We toss it to him, and look at the speed around the edge. Getting ways or finding ways to get him the ball, and he shows that he can be dynamic with the ball in his hands. We know he has the running back skills. The Chargers send a stunt blitz here. Here's DTR rolling and throwing that way. It's Marvin Mims downfield. Fresh off of an upgrade and a speed boost as well. He's feeling it, and it's a first down. How about DTR 6 of 6 to start this game? That throw he actually was missing through the first three weeks, so you can actually see the improvement there. So here's second and seven. Here is DTR taking it on the option, and he fumbles the football. It's on the ground, recovered. Now, I think there's an issue with Madden to start this season because I tried to slide right there, and when I tap X, he actually gives up instead of sliding. I don't know what it is. So here we go. Here's a throw to the right side. That is going to be a completion, and that is a first down here for Herbert. They've been tough to get off the field, obviously. They have all these weapons. Here's a stretch play, and nobody's home to the left side. It's Austin Eckler with the big time run. Sidney Brown comes up with the second level tackle and it's a first down a big time game so we're into the second quarter now here is Eckler again up the middle he gets across the 30 they're in the field goal range already they come out here with five wide I mean they are not playing any games just a throw to the right side Sidney Brown could have jumped that one it's incomplete though he knocks it out it's a third and short Eckler, he might get the handoff here. He does. He fights forward. Jalen Smith with the tackle. And Javon Kinlaw is shaken up on the play. He will have to come out of the game. Michael Brockers took over at that starting nose tackle here for the defense. But now we have to go to our third string defensive tackle with four set linemen. Here's a throw to the sideline. And that's Mike Williams. And they're inside the five already. Now they get it to a three now. First and goal. Pitch play. Out to the right side. It's Eckler for the touchdown. We can't tackle him before he crosses. And that is going to be a 14-7 lead here for the Chargers. So DTR's led two good drives. Last one ended in a fumble. We'll see if he can hold on to the ball this time. Play action fake. Throw it to the right side. It's LaVisca Chenault again. How about this? We're getting him involved very early. DTR is 8 of 8. And LaVisca Chenault's got half of those receptions. So here we run Marvin Mims in motion this time. He gets a couple of blocks. He has another one to the outside. Showing off the speed. Nine for nine to start this game for DTR. Getting him some easy, literally, touch passes. And it's a first down. This new look offense with the way this playbook is opening up is looking pretty. Here is Tom... DTR throwing to the right side. That one is going to be caught. It's Chenault again, his fifth catch. Something we haven't seen in this second spot in the receiving uh, core. And it's a first down. We are moving the ball. Play action fake now. DTR rolls to the left side. He throws this one up to get it for Marvin Mims. Touchdown. 
The Oilers put together three long drives, two ending scores, and Marvin Mims showing that development. It's 14 all. So here are the Chargers back on offense. Here's a quick throw to the right side, and that's Mike Williams beating Bryce Hall right there. Mike Williams is an excellent Madden player, by the way, as here is Austin Eckler, gain of six. I don't know how we're going to stop this Chargers defense. We're going to start sending some blitzes here with about two minutes to go. We'll see what happens. We rush five. Here's a quick throw, and that's caught in a first down. They have just been all over. They've been able to run the ball, throw the ball short, throw the ball, intermediate everything. Herbert throws to the right side. Another catch. This time it's Gerald Everett. They have their tight end out there looking like a receiver. Gerald Everett is one of the best pass catching tight ends in the league, though. So now a minute 30 left. A quick throw, and that one is finally knocked away. And this could be our opportunity. Jordan Lewis with a deflection. It's third and five. So now Herbert. Four wide receivers out there. We get pressure. He throws across the middle. That one's knocked away. Sidney Brown knocks it out of the hands of Mike Williams. And the pressure was to Justin Herbert forcing an awkward throw across his body. And it's going to be a field goal here for the offense. I'll chalk that up as a win here for the Oilers. So a minute 20 to go here with all three timeouts. Here's a quick throw, and that's Marvin Mims. Here's the hurry-up offense in place. Here is DTR, play action fake again. He throws across the middle. It's Bob Tanyan. He's got it in open space. It's a first down throw, and we call our first timeout right there. DTR has been on fire today. So here we go, five wide again. DTR throws. It's Tanyan who gets out of bounds, and another first down. 14 of 14 right now, DTR. Can he go to 15 here? First and 10 this time in the pocket. Throwing deep. It's a wide open Tanyan. He's got it to the five. Touchdown. 15 of 15 to start this game for DTR. What a hot start here for the offense. And the Oilers have put together an excellent first half. Easily the best offensive first half we've had so far this season is this good Oilers offense or bad Chargers defense 21 17 here is Herbert airing it out deep to left side this one's caught by Mike Williams Williams beats Logan Ryan he will score on the first play you can't make this up if you wanted to both teams going back and forth here in the first half Herbert throws it up to Mike Williams, and that's what you have to do. Logan Ryan is a smaller safety, and he just looks really small on that play. 30 seconds now. We still have two timeouts. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That's caught by Tanyan. We will call a timeout there. We will get into a third and one at our own 31. 24 seconds to go. See if we can get into field goal range here. DTR rolling to the right side. Throws on the run. He's got Isaiah Likely. And we're going to call our last timeout here. So now we have 18 seconds, no timeouts. We'll see what we can do here. DTR rolling to the right side, throws that way. It's going to be knocked out of the hands of Antonio Gibson, but a flag on the play. They are going to call roughing the passer on Joey Bosa. So we get a free 15 yards. The clock stops as well. And now we are at the 50. Here is DTR. Throwing to the sideline, up for Kyle Phillips. Somehow comes down with it. What a throw right there. It had to be in literally one spot, and it got put there. Wow, Kyle Phillips with the one-handed, bringing it to two, catch over J.C. Jackson. And now we have eight seconds to go. We roll to the left side. DTR throws it out of bounds. And we're going to have to settle for three here, but I would say that's a win. With less than 25 seconds on the clock, we drive into field goal range. A couple of breaks, but we get there. What a first half for both offenses. It's 14 or 24 to 24, and neither offense can get off of the field. So looking around the league here in the AFC West, the Broncos 3-1 after defeating the Bears. They look like they're going to be pretty good this season. Russell Wilson has 
Been a different Russell Wilson with Sean Payton at head coach. So here we go, second half. Well, I don't know who we're going to stop at offense, but we got to stop one of these things, rushing attack or throwing. Here is Herbert throwing across the field. How can you stop that? It's Mike Williams. A perfect throw across his body, rolling to the right side, all the way back to the left, and it's a dot. First and 10 now at the 48. Here is Herbert rolling, throwing. He's got Mike Williams again. Guess who? I mean, how do you stop this? It seems like any play they want, they are getting a first down, so we got to figure something out. Here's a quick throw. It's Gerald Everett. He has a first down on the quick short throw to Gerald Everett, seven yards, and now they get it pretty much in field goal range here. They're at the edge. Here's a quick throw, and look who it is. It's Mike Williams breaking a tackle. No matter who we're throwing on him, we're throwing Jordan Lewis. We're throwing Bryce Hall. Nothing is working. Inside the five now. Here is Eckler. Handoff. He walks in. A touchdown drive once again for the Chargers. We are trying everything. Our defense is just gassed out there. So here's our offense, though. Can we answer back? We've been able to do so so far in this game as Antonio Gibson is halfway to the century mark. And now that brings it to a third and four. Here's a throw to the sideline. It's Gibson. He's got it out of the backfield. A first down. You forget that he is such a good pass catcher because of how great he's running the football to start the season. Another stretch play. Look at the blocking. Gibson, a gain of 15. And uh-oh. It looks like he is shaking up on the play. I'm not sure what the issue was. He got up and celebrated, so I'm not really sure. He's coming out the game. Chase Brown will check in at running back. It's a first and 20 after a penalty. Here is the handoff up the middle, and Chase Brown gets seven yards back. So now we're about at the 50-yard line here. It's a second and long. It's a play action fake. And look at the entire defensive line. They collapse on Chase Brown. Wide open downfield is Marvin Mims. It's an excellent play fake for DTR and a first down. Still only three incompletions so far this game. And everybody thought we were running on that play. Now we actually give it to Brown. He gets to about the 10-yard line on a six-yard carry. Wow, what a display of offense today. Here is Gibson. He's back in the game now. Handoff up the middle. Derwin James meets him at the first down marker, but we're, they're going to give him to us. And now it's a first and goal. At the six now. Under center is DTR. He rolls to the right side. Nobody home. He's going to take it himself. He's got the speed. It's a touchdown. DTR uses his legs for the first time this year, and he gets his first rushing touchdown of the season. And we will tie this ball game up. 31-31. The shootout continues. Throw to left side. This one thrown in traffic. It looked like Everett dropped that one, but they will give it the give him the first down. I'm not sure what the refs were looking at right there. But we start the fourth quarter. They're set up at the 48. Here's a throw to the sideline. Mike Williams has the catch, but I thought we could have jumped that one right there. I saw that all the way. Second and one carry up the middle. Eckler met in the backfield. Okay. Here's our opportunity. It's a third and two. Can we come up with a stop here? We send pressure. Quick throw. It's incomplete. He was looking forever, and I think Herbert was a little flustered by the pressure right up the middle, and they will not go for this fourth and two. They will punt this ball away in a terrible shank punt, and we get it at the 19-yard line. Marvin Mims is over 100 yards today. Bob Tanyan might be close as well. I think he's over as Antonio Gibson gets the first carry of this drive. Could his 100-yard streak end here? It looks like the passing game has been dominant. Second and five now. DTR rolls to the right side. He's going to take it himself. And there we are giving up again. I'm tapping X. If anybody in the comment section knows how to slide, let me know, please. It's third and nine. Six minutes to go in this game. Pressure off the right edge. We'll get to him. It's Joey Bosa. He gets to DTR for the first time today, and it's a crucial sack. The superstars always get sacks in crucial points in the game. So here we go back on defense. Herbert play action fake. This is a throw across the middle. It's a wide open Mike Williams. He picks up 
the first downs. Only six incompletions here for Justin Herbert as well. Is Mike Williams at 196 yards receiving? That is just ridiculous. Here's a handoff to the right side. It's Eckler. He's approaching 100 yards. It's everything they want they can do today. They come out here with five wide. Jalen Smith on the line to rush the passer. Here's a throw to the end zone. It's Eckler. Touchdown. His third touchdown of the game. Two on the ground. One through the air. What can't he do? It's now a 38-31 game. Clean pocket for Herbert. He didn't even square up to throw that ball to Eckler. It was just a perfect pass. And now they're up by seven with three and a half to go. Does DTR have more magic? Here's a throw across the middle. That's Kyle Phillips. He has it for the first down. Man, Kyle Phillips has been amazing in this series. He's had a bunch of first down catches. Three minutes to go officially. Here's DTR. Pressure. He throws downfield. It's a wide open Robert Tanyan. How did that happen? An open Robert Tanyan downfield, and they just simply forget about him. Wow. Just a lapse in coverage right there, and Bob Tanyan walks in for his second touchdown of the game. So 38-38. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Here's a quick throw. That's going to be caught by, it looks like Palmer. He picks up a gain of six. Can the defense come up with a stop somehow? Here's a play action fake. It's a sack, and it's on the ground. It's going to be picked up by the Oilers. Christian Barmore gets through the defensive line for his first sack of the season, and he gets to Herbert he gets a punch in there, it looks like, with the left hand, and the ball falls on the ground. It's picked up here, and now we have an opportunity to take the lead. Two minutes to go. Here's a screen pass called to Gibson, and we cannot get the block out there, and that is going to be a stop behind the line by Kenneth Murray Jr. Third and 11, clean pocket. Not so clean anymore. It falls on the ground. It's picked up by an offensive lineman. They will mark him down. And now we have to settle for three. We go up here 41 to 38, and we give the ball back to Herbert. Herbert has been airing it out all game long. Another sack and a strip fumble. That might do it. But here is Palmer open across the middle to start the drive. It's a first down. Hurry up offense here for the Chargers. Once again, just a, over a minute to go. Here's a quick throw, and that's Keenan Allen now. We haven't heard his name since, like, the first quarter. It's been all Mike Williams. Another first down. The clock is still running. They have two timeouts remaining. They hurry it up, though. Here is Herbert. Quick throw in the traffic. It's knocked away. Eckler had it in his hands, and Sidney Brown knocks it out. The clock stops at 44 seconds. Once again, Herbert has to throw, and that was Barmore in there right away. But it's a gain of eight. More hurry-up offense here for the Chargers. It's third and two. No timeout called. Herbert is pushed out of the pocket, and he loses a bunch of yards. It's Jalen Smith there for the sack. He beats the right guard, and Smith just gets to the quarterback. Herbert gets pushed out of the pocket and cannot see downfield. It's fourth and 15. This is the game at the 46-yard line. Here is Herbert. From the pocket, throwing to an open Keenan Allen right off of the line. It's a first down. They get it to the 25-yard line with five seconds to go. They will line up for the field goal. It's Dicker. He knocks it through. And this one is going to overtime. So here we start overtime, and we do win the coin toss. And we will elect to receive... If we score on the opening drive a touchdown, this game is over. If we score a field goal, the other team gets an opportunity to go down the field as well. So here we go. We start out with the stretch play. Look at the hole to the left side. It's going to be Gibson, and it's a first down. What a start to this overtime period. And now here we go once again. It's first and ten. You know we're going to be looking to run the ball here. Here's a handoff once again. It's Antonio Gibson. He picks up ten and another first down, and that one puts him over 100 yards. So his 100-yard streak continues here. It's at four games now. Here is Gibson, another carry up the middle. Gain of four. He's got to hold on to it. We're remembering last game. Von Miller punched the ball out there. And a crucial part in the game in the second quarter. 
Here's DTR once again scrambling. He gives himself up. We make sure it's within reason there. We give ourselves a little cushion, and he picks up the first down. So now here we are across the 50. Another stretch play. Great blocking, and it's Gibson getting out of bounds. We've been moving the ball positively on every single play so far, and now it's third and four. At the 31, another carry to Gibson, and Gibson makes a man miss and somehow fights for the first down. Antonio Gibson has been amazing so far in this series, and that's a crucial first down run. Play action fake now. DTR throws to the sideline. He's got Bob Tanyan who gets scooped by Murray. And now third and eight. Can we convert here from the 23? DTR throws to an open spot. It's going to be Tanyan again. How crucial has Tanyan been today? This game has really come out of nowhere. Gibson now showing a little cutback ability. He gets up the middle. That's a gain of 10. We're inches short of the first down marker, but we do eventually pick it up here as now we get into a first and goal at the two. Here's a handoff. Antonio gets it is in. That's the ball game. What a shootout for the Houston Oilers. Second win of the season. Can you believe it? The Oilers put up 47 points to defeat the Chargers on the road. Almost 100 points collectively from both teams. That is just insane. This long game is over. Herbert was amazing, but DTR was unstoppable. 25 of 33, 419 through the air, three touchdowns through the air, one touchdown on the ground for DTR. It was just an amazing outing here for him today. His definitely his breakout game that maybe put him on the map. Antonio Gibson, 25 for 139, two touchdowns. Really that overtime when we started handing the ball, he was just unstoppable. Robert Tanyan, 7 for 159 in two touchdowns. That obviously long touchdown for 66 yards was a one that put him over the top there. But Marvin Mims, 6 for 117 in touchdown. LaVisca Chenault, 5 for 76. It was everybody today. And I got to give it up to Chenault. I think he definitely gave us a boost early in that game. Obviously, he didn't get the ball late, but he was off to a very hot start. We made it a point to get him the ball early. Our defense, there wasn't many bright things to say. Christian Barmore had that good strip sack. That was crucial. Jalen Smith had that big third down sack, but they ended up converting anyway on a fourth and long. But besides those two plays, I really can't point to many at all in that game. But we had 33 first downs. We were moving the football all game long, and it was just one of those games. We were just on an offense, but terrible on defense. Well, we come out of that game and Javon Kinlaw is out with a torn labrum four weeks and another four week injury here for this uh, for this Houston Oilers team. But we do have a few upgrades out of that game. Jack Puzlesny. I don't know why he has an upgrade, but he hit a field goal or two. Uh, looking at him, we definitely, you know, have some really developing to do with him. He's only in the 60s overall. Kyle Phillips, he's been the number three option here in the passing game. Today, he was like number four, though. Actually, he was like number five because Robert Tanyan was killing today. Everybody was getting involved. Christian Barmore gets an upgrade. Well-deserved for him. He gets a big, crucial first sack on the season, and it was a big strip fumble as well. Jalen Smith has been balling out so far here in this series. I'm not sure what his long-term status is with the team because he's only 72 overall. He's not going to develop much, but he's been a great help so far through the first four games. Robert Tanyan, deservedly so, gets an upgrade. Now, with this breakout game, I think Robert Tanyan is officially on the map like he wasn't already, but we get some news. The player of the week in the AFC for offense ends up being DTR. Three passing touchdowns, one through the on the ground, two fumbles. I don't remember the second fumble. I remember he got he fumbled that one time, but he has officially evened up his touchdown to interception ratio. So four touchdowns, four interceptions. 
and he has an upgrade. I'm going to upgrade the Scrambler here because I want to just get him better at throwing on the run because a lot of the plays we saw today, he was throwing on the run. And he goes up plus two and throw on the run, so that's pretty good. And throw under pressure goes up as well. You can just see his accuracy does need some help. The deep accuracy is suspect right now at 69, but he threw the deep ball pretty well today. Antonio Gibson gets an upgrade, and he goes up plus one in speed. So we get two speed upgrades here in this episode, and now Antonio Gibson is at 92 speed. He and Marvin Mims are there with those speed upgrades. And also, Antonio Gibson is the first player to hit 80 overall on this team. How about our overall rating as a team? It's gone up two points so far to start the season. We're at 75 overall now. So next episode, we will have a double header with the Packers and the Patriots. And look at this. We have a breakout scenario for our quarterback DTR. Can't wait to see what that is. I haven't opened it yet, but it should be exciting. DTR might have an opportunity to get to the next dev trait. We'll have to see next episode. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode a little longer, but it was well worth it. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Talking on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride.